Hello, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an aspiring fiction author and I do videos on writing and writing related things. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today I want to talk about the power of repetition and not in the way that most people think of repetition as being valuable, which I think is in terms of learning a skill or mastering a skill. Because like Malcolm Gladwell said, if you just do 10,000 hours of something, then you should become a master. So when you think about repetition from that perspective, you just need to, whatever you want to do, you just need to keep doing it enough and you'll become good at it. I think that's true to an extent, but I don't actually think that is the main value of repetition. When it comes to trying to master anything, but particularly creative endeavors, I think the power of repetition is that as you do the same thing more and more, you understand your brain and your psychology more and more, and you start to learn about the mental hoops you make yourself jump through. You start to learn about the ways you try to trip yourself up. You start to learn about the ways you sabotage yourself. And the more you do something, the more you can see that for what it is, as opposed to I'm in my case, never going to be a decent writer. The reason I started thinking about this was because I'm currently working on a new project, Reciprocal Stalking, which I started in Camp NaNoWriMo. And it's the first project I've done in about three months and only the second new thing I've written in over a decade. And even though it's only one week in, it's been a struggle. I've been stuck. I've been struggling to write for more than 15 minutes at a time. I've had an image that's really clear in my head that I can't translate into text. I have relationships with no idea of how to build them, or I have scenes where I've written like a one-line description only to realize that I don't actually know what's going to happen and I start staring into space. And What's interesting is because this is the second project I've done in recent times. I remember the same thing happening last time. So when I was writing my last book, Powerless, which was in NaNoWriMo 2019, I remember the first couple of days in NaNoWriMo really struggling to do anything and feeling like everything I wrote was cringeworthy. And I remember wondering, like, maybe I don't have anything else. Maybe. The book that had been in my head for over 10 years that I finally revisited and got the first draft done last July, July, August, September, maybe that's all I had. And it's stupid for me to try to write something else, but I was determined to do NaNoWriMo and I kept telling myself, look, it doesn't matter if it's bad. The point of this exercise isn't actually to write something good, it's to learn to write, it's to learn to build those skills. What I didn't realize I was building at the time though was resilience and even just a better understanding of my own brain and how it works so I could get through it. In fact, it was the same thing when I started working out as well. So when I, I've never been athletic, probably not a surprise to anyone, but I was quite active when I was a kid. I did ballet for 12 years. I did karate for a couple of years in early adulthood. So I was very physical, even though I couldn't catch a ball to save my life. And even though I dabbled in like doing a couple of boot camps or going to yoga or going to the gym occasionally, I only really started going to the gym regularly in late 2018. And then it was a similar thing. Like, I couldn't believe how weak I was, how out of shape I was, how uncoordinated I was, and how far I'd let myself go. But even though it was uncomfortable and I felt stupid, I and I didn't see results, I kept going. And I soon learned that the discomfort was okay and the lack of coordination was fine. And now when I try something new, I'm uncomfortable and uncoordinated and realize how much further I have to go, but it's okay because I've already come so far and I know that if I did it last time, I can do it again. What's happening now is the exact same thing. So I'm having the same conversations with myself and the same doubts. And because I've done it once before, I'm able to step back and tell myself, 
Like, look, it's just the first week. Last time, the first week was really hard as well. And admittedly, there are challenges with this book that didn't happen with the last one. One of the big issues with this book is it's very different to anything I've written in the past or anything I've thought about writing in the past. It's very character driven. It's very you know, more psychological thriller-esque slash romance as opposed to fantasy action in the YA space. So it's very much an internal story rather than an external one. And I can't just dialogue or action my way through it to get more words done. And that's a struggle. But what I'm thinking is that if I do this now and I just persist, that means the next time I try to tackle something that's difficult and character driven and something that I haven't done before, I'll be able to remember this time and go, yes, the first weeks were really hard. Yes, you could only do 15 minute sessions at a time. Yes, you couldn't action or dialogue your way through it. Yes, even when you did the things that worked last time, like sitting down to outline a scene before it worked, it didn't work as well. Yes, half the time you felt like you were plagiarizing other books that you used as reference material. But none of that mattered because you got to the end of the first draft and you learned something from it. At least I'm hoping that's what will happen if I get to the end of the first draft and learn something from it. So in summary, the value of repetition isn't simply mastering a skill. It's mastering your mindset and being able to understand your psychology and the hurdles your brain is going to throw at you when you're struggling with something. And that way, the next time you do it, you can go, oh, hello, self-doubt, hello, discomfort, hello, my old friends. I remember you from last time and I know how to deal with you. And I know that if I keep doing the same thing, I will build more faith in myself and my abilities and you will get weaker. And then I can encounter new psychological hurdles next time. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be the moral of the story. The moral of the story was you will get weaker and I will get stronger and I will progress and be able to produce work that I'm really proud of. So let me know in the comments if you experience the same thing. Do you tend to go through the same psychological struggles every time you start something new? And if so, do you have any hacks or tips for getting around them? So please let me know and if you haven't already, give me a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.